Save Cash on Life, number four. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Save Cash on Life video. This one, I'm going to talk about strategies with the Discover It card. And I'm not going to probably go over all of the strategies, but today, let's talk about one strategy with Discover It and Amazon. Now, Amazon is a very good site for purchasing things, getting great deals. I think most people know that already. Also, <clears throat> having the Amazon Prime membership is a plus when you buy a lot of things from Amazon because you get a lot of free shipping and a lot faster shipping. So, that said, Amazon Prime also comes with other benefits, but that's not what I'm here to talk about today. But I do have to suggest that you get an Amazon Prime membership in order to take full advantage of all the savings you can get um, regarding what I'm about to talk about. <clears throat> now, the thing is, I already did a video on the Discover It card. And in that video, I showed how to link your Discover card over to Amazon so where you get a bonus 5% cash back. Now, um, that is not the same thing as the 5% cash back program. And I talked about that in the video as well. So if you have not seen Save Cash on Life number two, then you need to go back and watch that and then come back to this point and pick up from here. And that way you'll be able to get a thorough understanding of what I'm talking about and not get lost um, along these lines. Now, so first we're going to make a list of all of our consumables from toilet paper to soap to deodorant to the ink in our printers, even, even the water filter in the refrigerator. Once we make that list, then we're going to go to Amazon.com. After going to Amazon.com, we're going to search for all of those consumables, everything in our house that we buy and we you know, run out of and we buy again. All of it, everything. We're going to try to find the best deal, okay? And the best deal is the best cost, not the best price. Let's just take this deodorant, for example. Here we have a 1.8 ounce stick of deodorant that costs a dollar. I can go to the store, Dollar Tree specifically, and get this for one dollar. Okay, so if I buy four of these, that's going to be four dollars. All right, now let's take a look at what I found on Amazon. Here we see on Amazon we have a four pack for five dollars, but wait a second. Look at the per ounce price. Oh, we see three ounces per stick of deodorant. Hmm. So how much more deodorant am I getting? I'm getting 67% more deodorant for a dollar more. Hmm. So I got four sticks of 1.8, or I can get four sticks of three. The four sticks of 1.8 will cost me $4, and the four sticks of three will cost me $5. Hmm. So I'm going to pay, I'm going to pay 25% more to get 67% more. If I pay 25% more and I'm getting 67% more, then I'm saving 42%. You see that? So I just saved 42% by buying this on Amazon. Now, <clears throat> let's look at the next thing that we're going to do. We're going to add this to our list. Okay? Now, this is going to enable us to come back later and go to the Amazon.com site. OK, and we're going to be able to pull that list back up. I didn't say buy anything. I said add it to the list. We're going to pull that list back up and we're going to continue shopping because let's just say we, we um, didn't get everything done yet in terms of our list and finding the best cost on Amazon. And so we got to go and come back later. We add that to the list. Once we add that to our list, 
we have a whole list of items. We found the best deal on, on laundry detergent. We found the best deal on toothpaste. We found the best deal on paper towels. We found the best deal on ink cartridges, whatever it is that we found. We now need to see what the subscribe and save cost is compared to that. All right. <clears throat> now, how do we do that? First, we do a search for subscribe and save. Let's just use this for example, toilet paper. Okay, so we're going to type in the search bar, whether it's in your browser or your app, we're going to type subscribe and save toilet paper and look at what we find. Okay, now as we scroll down through, we pick the toilet paper that's the best deal, the best cost once again. And once we find that, we compare that to what we have on our list for toilet paper. And if the price is within range of 5%, then we go with the subscribe and save automatically. If it's not, then we got to think a little bit more. Okay? So, <clears throat> basically, you're going to calculate whether it's a 5% difference or not. If it's 5% lower on subscribe and save, it's a no-brainer. Okay? But if it's 5% higher on subscribe and save, we're still going to go with the subscribe and save. And I'm going to explain to you why. Okay? <clears throat> So we're going to add that to our um, subscribe and save by pushing subscribe and save. So we're not going to push just like add to cart. We're going to do subscribe and save. All right. And once we do subscribe and save, that's going to put it in our subscription and we're going to get 5% off. You got that? Now, let's just say I needed it every two months. So we're going to put it in the every two months. Instead of every one month, when you do subscribe and save, you can choose one month, two months, three months, four months, five months, or six months. Okay, so that means that it will be delivered to your house according to that schedule. All right, so that gives you five percent. Now, <clears throat> once you get five items, so you've got your um, deodorant, you've got your toilet paper, you've got your paper towels, you've got your um, dishwashing liquid, and let's say you have your um, ink cartridges, okay? So you got five items that you have on your list and you subscribe and save. What happens is as long as you have those delivered in the same time frame, let's say every two months, then you're going to get the maximum discount that they can give you. So let's put mine up here, for example. Um, this is a screenshot from me for delivery um, all at the same time. And what you see, these five items are going to come um, and they have a discount of 15%, 15%, 15%, 10%, and 10%. So with these five items, because they are shipped the same day from Amazon, they're coming from Amazon, and they're coming the same day, they are going to give me a maximum of 15%. Some items go as high as 15%. Some items, as you can see, go as high as 10% discount. All right? So once we've combined the best cost with the best discount by doing five items on subscribe and save, now we need to go back to our list and we need to compare. Are we saving more by subscribing and save or should we buy the items that are on the list where we found the best cost? Okay, so instead of 5%, now we have to compare based on 10% and 15%. You understand? So <clears throat> we've got the five items on subscribe and save. We're having them all delivered the same day. All right, or shipped out the same day from, from Amazon. And they're all on, say, two-month delivery, okay? Now, <clears throat> we say, okay, so this item over here, this deodorant versus the other deodorant that I found on um, Amazon at the best cost, which one comes, uh, comes out to be cheaper with the 15% discount? You see what I'm saying? So let's say I found another four pack of deodorant. Okay. And let's say it was um, $4 and 90 cents. 
Well, <clears throat> it's the exact same deodorant, the exact same number of ounces, and it was 10 cents less for that for that four pack. Okay. But let's say that particular vendor did not have it in subscribe and save. Well, let's just look at what 15% of the $5 is. Okay? 15% of $5 is 75 cents. So, $5 minus 75 cents is four dollars and twenty-five cents. So why would I pay four dollars and ninety cents because it's cheaper in one pack over four dollars and twenty-five cents when I can do subscribe and save? You see the difference? And those are the basics that you need to comprehend. You need to get this in your mind. Okay, this is how you save cash on life. Now, let's throw in the fact that we're paying with the Discover It card. So that 15%, 15%, 15%, 10%, 10%, turns into basically, roughly, 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, 15%, and 15%. So we're saving right at... 20% and right at 15% on these five items you see here. Now, one final thing. You'll see two of the same item. The reason why I did this is strategic. Okay? Each of those items I only need once a month. But, in order to get everything lined up, to get five items lined up, five, on the same day of shipping, I did one and one, both on two months instead of one every single month. So I get the same amount every month. It's just that I have it shipped two months instead of one month. One month. Okay. I have it shipped every two months instead of every one month. Okay. And instead of ordering two in one subscribe and save order i ordered one in one subscribe and save order and one in another subscribe and save order okay so it's strategic if i had said okay well um i'm going to do two every two months well if i just did an order of two every two months i wouldn't get the to 10 percent on both i'd be short one because i have to have five items in subscribe and save to get the maximum discount Okay, so I did the one and one. One subscribe and save, same item, another subscribe and save. Ta-da. I have five items being shipped out on the same day. And this is just one. I can have another uh, set of items shipped out on, an, on, on, on monthly that are five items. I can have another set of items shipped out every six months. That are on subscribe and save. And in each case, by doing that, I'm going to save the most. Okay, so here's the summary of everything. We're going to, to make a list of our consumables. We're going to go to Amazon.com. We're going to find the best cost. Then we're going to go to subscribe and save. And try to find those items on subscribe and save. Then we're going to... Make sure we have at least five items being shipped out at the same time. Okay. And then we're going to um, make sure we're using our Discover It card that we have linked to the Amazon account. Okay. Um, so go back and watch the first two Save Cash on Life videos. And then come back and watch this one if you haven't. Um, so that, that way you're going to have the full understanding. In the second one, I really explained the link of the Discover, uh, your Discover It card to Amazon, okay? And um, let me see. I think that's it. So like over here, subscribe over here, then hit the notification bell. That's the order of things, okay? And then share the playlist. I'm going to put a link to the playlist in the description below. Share the playlist, with anybody you care about. So you want to post this on Facebook. You want to put it on Twitter. Um, your Instagram. Whatever it is you want to share this. So that as many people as possible can get this information. And learn to save. Save cash on life. Alright. Talk to you soon.